recording. All right. Okay. 早上好，晚上好，下午好。啊<笑>、uh, <laughs> ，Yeah. Let's uh let's start. I'm trying to incorporate more and more speaking Chinese. Okay. Last time, just uh recap. Just a little bit of review from last time. Uh, to to make it connected, right? Uh, Chinese character has three perspective, meaning part, or ideographic, sound part or phonetic or sound part, pronunciation or a tone, and form shape like picture part, like pictogram. This is the base. This is most of the very basic、uh, Chinese character based on the form, like drawing a picture. A fish, a horse, a tiger. We talked about before, right? Or a human is a is a picture, but、uh, but also the pronunciation tone contribute to the meaning too. Then any character come with the superficial meaning. Then along the history, the layers and layers of meaning add up to it. Okay, but last period we just talked about the Xing's. 形声字，对 ，means means this character has two parts. That that 字 we say 字 is compounded, right? As a two or three or even four、uh, different part put together. So, but for 形声字 the basic connotation is part part of it. For example, this 字 contribute to the <coughs> more contribute to the meaning and. An、other part is more contribute to the pronunciation, like what's this one is zi, but the pronunciation is mainly coming from this zi, this zi, like er zi, sound er zi, it's a third tone, but the whole thing, the whole thing, the zi pronounced as zi, zi po, because this is a, a roof, a house, underneath the house you have kid, so that's the original meaning of zi. Because we talked about that, the simple one is when the very basic character. If you dissect it, it doesn't make any sense. That's called when. Two or three or more or even four when combined together, compounded, conform as a zi, it it's developed a bit like a bigger family. So, so that's how we use that to to represent the complicated character. So that's that's the zi. But the original meaning of zi is a you have family. You have kids. That makes sense, right? Okay. So that's the 形声字 part of it. But you need to remember this 形声字 Make it clear, otherwise, it's a, this 形声字 The meaning of this、uh, of this 字 both form picture part and also the pronunciation part both contribute to the meaning most of the time. But、uh, only one part, mainly, the majority, only one part contribute to the pronunciation and tone. That's the principle. I'm gonna repeat that in different when we get into different character. So if you don't quite get it, so that's okay, right? I like like what show last time. The the typical 形声字 says this give you the form, give you the picture. That's something related to water, right? And this part give the pronunciation. The 声 means sound. Pronunciation. Okay, this part give the pronunciation. Pronunciation. This part give the pronunciation. For that, for example, this thing here. Yeah, replay this again and to reinforce your memory. It's very loud noise for the water, right? This get the liters is.、Uh, Lower voice, lower,、uh, lower、uh, noise. Everybody have this kind of experience.、Uh, let me see, where is it? This is the group. This is how this sound come from. Wang. So yeah, from here to here to here, so this part give the the lower the right part give contribute to the pronunciation. The left part, the radical or 偏旁 
you still remember Pimpa? On the side, give the, the indicate the meaning. Oh, this is something related to water. This is a sui, right? Still remember? Right? This is a sui. And when you serve as a radical or pianpang, it, like, it is written like this. They're the same thing. Still remember, right? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, that's the xing sheng zi. This, this kind of zi, xing sheng, form and pronunciation, zi, or sound. This kind of uh, zi consists 80 to 85 percent of them. In the whole entity of Chinese character. So it means if we want to learn 2,500 character, how much is it? Uh, how many is it? Uh, it's, over, it's like around 1,700. It's going to be Xing Sheng Zi. So for the first three months to the first half a year or even the first year, we mainly focus on the, the individual, especially for the first half year, individual. When, when we accumulate enough individual zi, individual wen or individual simple zi, when we combine them as xing sheng zi, that's the time your vocabulary is going to double, triple, quadruple, five times, or even ten times, for at case by case. So, so uh, for, the, at, for the first, like at the beginning for the, this period to like until half a year or even nine months, we need to memorize, can pronounce and write all those characters I'm showing you guys, right? But uh, as I said at the beginning, give yourself a little bit of patience, give yourself a little bit of uh, compassion. So, like, oh, it's, it's, it's a, you know, uh, uh, I'm still not getting it. You are getting it. I think the varied, varied, uh, or varied, 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 yeah. actually, yeah. She, 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 she tried a very, in a good way, and she wrote a sentence by whatever, try to make a story, whatever she, we have taught the characters. I can see, I can, I can understand roughly her, what, her, what her mean, what she's trying to say. Even though the sequence of the character is not really quite right yet, but the way of thinking, the way she makes sentence is on the right track. You can practice. You, know, you can make mistakes and say, okay, this is not really Chinese, but uh, you, when you put the character in line, making, trying to make a sentence, even though maybe she, in her mind, she's still think kind of in, in, in Hebrew uh, uh, as a sentence, but she was starting to write, use different Chinese character, put in line to make, make a sentence to make sense. That's a, that's a good game to, to practice, to, 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 to play with it. All right, Jack. And Tyrus, you, you go ahead and do that. And you can write that and say, okay, I want to make a sentence like, uh, well, I learned a uh, song, I read the Zi Yue, okay, Xing, I learned the Ren. How can I make a picture or make a sentence using this character? You write it and uh, in, just play with it. Then uh, you, can, you, can, you can submit in your um, assignment. Uh, let me guess, it's like, what is it? And then, then you write your tr English translation. Down, down, down to the bottom. Next. Oh, I got it. So now I can, I can explain to you how you adjust, change the sequence of the character. Um, that's the way of the, the Chinese uh, sentence. That's another way to learn. Just play with it, have fun with it, right? Uh, uh, that's, that's actually a good track. Try to play with it, okay? That's, uh, okay, now for this period, I'm going to introduce you a different Xin Sen Zi here. Um, most of you, you know that the five elements, when we talked about number five, wu, right? We introduced the wu xing. I didn't uh, ask you to remember this, to write this character, but uh, so you five elements, which is uh, tree, mu uh, huo, tree, fire, earth, metal, and water, right? So this is a metal. The very best metal is everywhere. In any nation, any people is gold. That is metal. So the pian pang, pian pang written part, pian pang form is written like this. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the same. 
Only the low, the lowest uh, stroke going like this. Now this is flat, and this is going up like a T. So this, the pin, that's the pin pong. So now from now on, you know this is a metal. This is a metal or gold. Original meaning is gold. That's the uh, most precious or expensive metal on earth. Everybody knows it, right? So then the the pin pong. Form like this. So from now on, you know any Chinese character with this pian pang. Pian is on the side, side radical. Has now you know it's related to some sort of kind of a metal. So that's original. Gold jing pronounced as jing. Follow me, jing. Jing. Yeah, good jing. 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 Like a jack. Like a jack. Jing. Jing, 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 jing. First tone. Jing, 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 jing. Good, you got it, all right? Very uh, simple, right? You get him easier and easier. Okay, then the second character here is Y I N, the second tone. Again, you just focus on my pronunciation, or you can even look at my mouth to, to, to mimic it. That's the very, very basic. Um, gift from divine when you are born. You don't need to really even look in at the, the, the pinyin here. If you can pick up with your ear and do it from here, then you, you, you can and just try to remember, mimic and remember the pronunciation and the tone. You don't need to even remember this. This is just a tool. If you don't need a tool to walk, throw it away and you can start to walk. Then you can, later on you can start to run. If you carry a, a, a tool or walker, you cannot run fast. That makes sense, right? Yeah, just focus on the pronunciation. This one, uh, 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 the meaning is silver. The yin, 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 Good. Jing, 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 yin, yin, yin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. This is these two are very simple, right? Very easy. Now then you know what is a, a gold, jing and silver, yin. Yeah. Because you have a, 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 a yeah. ring here. It could be gold. It could be yin, right? It could be gold or yin. You know that, right? Or you put a, a whatever, uh, all those good things. Okay, jing yin. This one, uh, as a bonus, if you remember, remember you don't remember, you don't remember. Yeah. This is uh, yeah. copper. Copper is tong. Tong, 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 second, second tong, 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 okay, yeah, good, tong, tong, yeah, because this part give a pronunciation, this part means together, tong, the pronunciation is tong, yeah, we, we, tong, 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 we go to the market together, we go to the market we go to market together. We eat all. Chu, go. We, do we do we uh, teach this before? No. No. Okay. Go. Uh, go. Chu market. Eat all means eat. Eat all or eat. The same meaning, but this is eat all. Eat all means we go. We go together. Or I agree with you. We eat all. Eat all is together. Okay. Yeah. It's just heads up. You don't need to remember this. For this uh, period, these two characters, Jing, Ying, you got it already, right? Okay, cool. And, uh, and this is uh, Pian Pang. Now we learn, we learn all five Pian Pang. Three? Oh, do, do, do we get, uh, we, we didn't get this part yet. A fire? Mu, uh, uh, mu Ho to, we learn this earth, right? That's Pian Pang, so written like this. Now, Jing. That, uh, that 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 pong is like the then sui the last one water and okay we still need to get to fire later on when we get familiar with the five elements as a pian pong uh accumulate a little bit more some uh, uh, the right side part we're getting to hundred hundreds of uh, hundreds of characters. Is composed 
uh, by the pin <coughs> of uh, tree, fire, earth, metal, and water. Mu, Ho, Tu, Jing, Sui. We didn't get this, but we have Mu, Tri, Tu, Jing, Sui already, right? Cool. I want to give another meaning of the star we learned last time. We said star is a balanced man. That's the, right? It's a balanced yin and yang balanced. This yin, yang side and the yin side are balanced. And also big, because a little, bit, little boy, little girl said, is that big or small? It's big. It's big. How big? So big. So we open it up. And another meaning of the star, you see this, this is written as human, right? What do we talk about this in general? Dao. Dao. If a human, his head, even though he's still standing on the earth here, but his head understands higher principle Dao, or his spirit is, is up over there, connect to the Dao, connect to the higher, that's a status called or situation. He's in the situation status of Da. That's, that's called a big. That's called a Da. That's called a great. That's another kind of layer of connotation. Make sense? Because this, this is Da. If you are here, and we don't have this uh, such a character, you're underneath it. But uh, your head is, your head understands something higher. So that situation, that kind of status is called all Da. So that kind of human is Da. Right? da. Or in human, uh, go, to, go to lower to human level. Ren uh, means adult. Right? Okay. Uh, at the same time, I want to show you another character, which is Xiao. 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 Good, good. Okay. Uh, okay, Jack, can you put on Xiao? Wow, perfect. Harris? Harris? Xiao. Wow, wonderful. Yeah, good. Xiao means small. The Da is big or great, small or little. It's a, we remember we talking about the we remember the characters doing the pair two together. Xiao da xiao da xiao da. What the meaning of the xiao is? It's like a, have you ever tried to uh, you you uh, uh, you you use the um, I mean not the scanning tone scanning the green scanning. You you take piece by piece. And then it becomes smaller, smaller, and smaller. And like oh, Arnie, you take a piece by piece off of outside, it becomes smaller and smaller. That's the, you can connect that kind of picture or move, or a little move in your mind with this character. You see, you take part, 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 it's getting smaller and smaller. So that's the meaning of the shell. Dissect, dissect, take, take, take piece by piece, like a uh, green Arnie, green scanning, or uh, you, you peer. The army take part, 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 make it smaller. That's the meaning of a shell. Because you take, you drop this, yeah. drop this, drop this, drop this. It's getting uh, smaller, smaller, smaller. That's the meaning of shell. Okay, for uh, some, uh, yeah. for some of you, you you have a uh, some uh, uh, learning background before of Chinese. I give you a bonus. This this is a shell, right? Put this two together. This is a one. Uh, another one is da. Two together conform a, 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 a zi compound. This is a new zi called a jian. It's a tip, tip of something. Jian, because jian always small. So that's uh, pronounced as jian, jian, i, a, and jian. Jian. Pencil, bi jian. Nose, jian. Uh, tip of the nose, bi uh, jian. Also bi jian. The finger tip. Good, good. This is as bonus. If you remember it, you just remember it. At least you know that. Oh, the 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 tip is smaller. The bottom is big. That's this kind of shape. That's called the jian tip, or or sharp, or sharp, right? 
Chen Rui. Chen Rui. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. This is uh, as a bonus. If you don't remember, uh, that's okay. We'll get into back to uh, this again later on. All right. But uh, if you remember it, you remember four, four, four uh, jacket tires. You just need one fraction of time, two seconds. Oh, I remember that. Right? It's not hard. Right? Okay. Jian. Uh, oh, now I, I remember in your assignment when you write a da. Hang, then how? Open it up, like there's a, a age to it. You don't, you don't uh, write it like this. No, no. This is you. You want to do this? More straight. Yeah, open it up. It's like a yeah. You you see this? This is here. Like it's like a knife. Lies like a knife. But uh, this is too soft, right? Yeah, you change it to like this. Okay, that's uh, in your writing. Otherwise, your writing is getting better and better. Beautiful. Okay, uh, two more characters we just learned uh, repeated. Uh, yes, the last period and this period is Jiang and He. There's a big river, very big river called Jiang. Pronounce that with me. Jiang. 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 Like a jack. This is a jack, right? Jiang. 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 Good. This is a smaller uh, in the middle, like a river. Regular river is called He. 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 Like a hello. Yeah, this is the edge. Hello. He. This is the second tone, right? He. Jiang. 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 He. Okay, now now you get it. Very big river. We call it Jiang in U.S. What can call it as a Jiang Missouri River, Mississippi River? That's called a Jiang. If in your hometown you have a smaller one that called a He, uh, very small one. When when you hear the the the, the sound, it's like, that's called a She. Now I think uh, I I I received the. Um, uh, uh, someone from maybe Basel, Basel or some uh, two of you guys maybe lead you to write a she. But if you can do it, go ahead do it. If you if you feel too much uh, feel too much, you, you just focus on what I I I uh, ask you to do. Okay, uh, accumulate piece by piece. Don't no rush. You know, give yourself a little bit of patience. Okay, uh, be patient. Is is part of a. Uh, Cultivating your zen, right? It's be patient to yourself. Yeah, uh, we will be, be there. Okay, Jiang He. This thing here Jiang just he. just just show you how Jiang it evolved he. the water, right? Jing. Now let, let's read it together one more time then, and to 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 reinforce your pronunciation. Jiang. 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 Jiang,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小,小
So you want to put together, put a color for in front of the so, 今日, 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 then, 今日, then everybody think on the earth think, uh, consider the, the color of the moon of Yue is a silver. 银月, 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 大人, we're talking about last one. 大人, that's uh, adults. 大人, and 小人, 大人, is, uh, is a kid. 小人, 小人. 小人. But, uh, but uh, <coughs> that's the very first layer. Of, this is the adults. That's a little, little boy, little girl, kids. But um, there's a second layer of meaning of 大人 means noble man. Very noble. Spiritually big, great, you know. And uh, 小人, ethic, ethic wise. So this 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 guy is a snobbish. It's is is a sneaky. It's not that noble. It's all that could be shouting. So, so the, depends on the context. So yeah, we're gonna at least you remember this is adults. This is a, a kid. That's all. This is a really noble man. Remember we talked about this. Uh, the Tao, your head is up there, cross the line. You know something higher. So you are noble. So that's how. Noble man or a, a great man, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a uh, second layer of me. We get into that a little more and more, right? Uh, I think uh, you practice uh, 1月, 2月, 3月, 4月, 5月, like 6月, 一直到12月. Uh, number combination, you just do all this uh, uh, play, playing the game. Uh, now we're getting more and more. Mu, da mu, it means big tree. Xiao mu, mu, right? 水, 水, 大水, means flood, so big, good, lot of water, 大水, means flood, 大水, 大水, uh, flood, uh, flood, uh, uh, we don't, we don't say 大土, we say 大地, means motherland, big, the ground, it means, right, when you drive, you see, uh, 大地. yeah, 大地, right, 大地, 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 but uh, it's, it, it, it's a radical, the uh, 偏旁 is 土, 大地, 木火土, 军水, yeah, that's all, 大水, uh, 水, uh, 没有没有金水, 金, 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 啊, 火, 木, 木是, well, we're we'll getting to uh, learn more color, 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 character, describing color, then you can do all this combination. You, you just uh, uh, play with it, play with it. Then you, you can, you can if, if you don't want to write, or you can, you can send me a voice, voice message. Uh, can I say this is in, in Chinese? Um, you can say English in, in the back. It's okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, well, no, we don't do that way. So that, remember, make, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Making mistakes always the very precious steps to learn. Like when we're, when we're little young, we start to walk. You know, mommy or daddy hold your hands, and one day you can release, and you, you can walk one, two, three, and, and drop, and you stumble, and you start again, and walk, and then you you can walk, and then you can run. Making mistake is a very good way to learn. Because it gives you contrast. Okay, this is not right way. This is the right way. Give you that. Uh, remember, we learn by pair. 大小, contrast. But also we learn from this time. I, I didn't do it correct. That time correct. A pair, compare, comparison together. Then you you understand it clearly. Yeah, we learn from both sides. Just like a like a token. We learn from both sides. That's a way. Of thinking, you gradually you will you get to that, right? Okay, uh, is it is this pace okay or uh, too fast or is it okay or too slow? Yes. It's okay, right? It's okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. Great, great. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I think uh, yeah. Then we have some time for uh, question from last period uh, from this period. Question and answer. Any questions? Do I have a question? Yeah, go ahead, Jack. <laughs> I don't have one. 
Oh, he, don't, he doesn't have one. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you don't have or you have, you have a, go ahead. I'm listening. No? Okay. Yeah, your pronunciation is much better now. And uh, um, uh, when you put uh, two or three characters together, you still need to maintain that. Uh, uh, yeah. Really? Oh, when you think about the first time, always oh, the da, di, chu, sang, xia. Those always go to the, the first time, right? Number four. You want, you want to practice on when you, especially when you put different characters together and form a phrase or form a sentence. When you are not sure, go, always go like, uh, 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 uh. We'll always go back to, to check that pattern. You, gradually, you, you, you establish pattern firmly in your mind. Then you don't need to even think about it. You just go ahead with it. Like a, uh, hey, say, for example, you can, you, can, you can say, Jack, you can, you can kind of have fun with your mom. Your mom is a, is a, a 大人. In the ancient time, you call your father or mother 大人. That's a, it, but only in the family, as a noble family. You, you, uh, regular family, but uh, we can practice it. Uh, you can say, uh, Mama Da Ren, Zao Sang Hao. Yeah, Mama Da Ren, Zao Sang Hao. She would be very happy. Or you can, uh, Tyrese is your, uh, your elder sister. Compared with you, she's also Da Ren. You, say, you can say, Sister Da Ren, Zao Sang Hao. Sister Da Ren, Wan Sang Hao. Practice that, right? Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. That's all. That, that's, that's the way to practice. You do the combination in your daily life, practice with it. If you don't have a, a, a family like a practice like that, you can practice in your mind. When you see some situation, you practice in mind or you can, you can say it. That's a way to learn. Use your mouth, use your... Uh, think it. Think it and uh, form different sentences, different... Uh, play the game. Yeah, you will get it. We can think the pronunciation uh, you act, and also actually pronounce it. It's different. You do more, you more naturally. Then later, later on, you don't need to think about it. You just come out as just like your, like your own language. That's the way to learn language. You don't think in your in your your language. In you learn Chinese, you think in language. You learn English, you think in Chinese English. You you learn Hebrew, you you think in Hebrew. You learn Vietnamese, you learn you think in Vietnamese. Try to think in Chinese when you learn. Practice with it. Okay. All right. No question? Yeah, I have one question. Sure. Yeah. Um, when we say uh, about ourselves as Xiao Ren, ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, Xiao Ren, Gu Dai, in the ancient time, it's yeah. a very humble way to say. Yeah, it's a way of being humble, right? Yeah, yeah be humble. Right. But it's very ancient. Nowadays, people don't say that. Everybody is so. Uh, uh, I'm not. Yeah. But in ancient time, you go to. Uh, even in the same, on the same level, you want to be humble, you say, 小人, uh, 大人, yeah, that's, that's the way to do it in the ancient time, yeah. Good. Ross, I got all of your, I got all of your assignment. Good, beautiful. So take your time and, and stay on your pace. It's a wonderful job. Just Ross had a question. Yeah. I just, um, my one question is, I saw you write and you erased it now, but it looked like a character that looked like something in the fa. And I just saw the pian pong for uh, Sui. Sui, right, that's right. That's the Sui. And I wonder, if, is that the same Sui before that character that looks like the fa? Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. Fa? So, in, like, in, the in, understanding in, being, like, the origin mm -hmm. kind of thing? Like, um, the origin matter or something yeah, like origin, that? Yeah, origin, there's a more complicated way to write the fa, but uh, even in ancient time, it, this kind of form here, the basic meaning of the very, very, oh, remember, whatever I teach, they are explain the connotation, cultural connotation, is a tool for you to understand Chinese. It's an intro level. When you get into it, when, when you improve, you will have different understanding later on. So don't, don't take my word as a, as a dead, hard principle. It's just a tool to help you to get into the, the law, okay? 
uh, this a very, very, very shallow superficial meaning of this is because the water is always flat. That's uh, it, it's equal, it's flat, it, it's always moving. When the water moving to the place, there's no way to go. On the, on the surface of water is always flat, even. That, that's the common sense, right? You, 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 you see the water flow, the uh, 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 river, or uh, Jiang, or He, or, or Xi flow all the way to the ocean is going to be like this. So that's uh, the basic meaning of a fire is because the water is always at the end, it's always equal, even. So use uh, the water <coughs> as the principle or as the um, standard. To this part is called a qi, means go or get rid of it. How to decide which one's good, which one's bad? Use the to everybody, everything is equal. Water is equal to everything. Use this as a standard to to decide which one is get rid of or which one to be reserved. That's the meaning of this part here. Chu, go or get rid of it. And you get rid of the bad thing, preserve the good thing. That's the ve the very very superficial meaning of this character. <clears throat> In human society, that's called the law. Law decides you are right or you're wrong. The different level, this law, this fa also decided which one's good, which one's bad. That make sense? Yeah. But uh, originally, actually, the the the, the fa, uh, ancient time, there's different writing form. It's, it's more complicated. Uh, we'll get into that later on. But this is uh, the very very superficial meaning. Okay. Cool. Good question. Any qu any more question? Yeah. So with grandparents, is it still da ren or like great grandparents or something? Gra yeah, uh, grandparents is da ren. Or if you want to really emphasize your humbleness or your res your, your respect, show your respect. There's another character, is old. It's called uh, pronounced uh, written like this. It's called lao. Lao da ren. Is, is more humble, more, you know, show really good respect to your grandparents, lao da ren. When you write a letter, uh, lao da ren here, when you write a letter in the ancient time, you write to your grandparents, uh, grandpa lao da ren. Say your grandpa, say, I don't know, uh, just give you an example, if your grandpa's name is Frank, in, in, in American, you, you write the name, in Chinese traditional way, you don't. You just say that, Grandpa in in Chinese called a ye ye. You remember father is Baba, right? This is ye ye, ye ye lao da ren, ning hao, write it like that, right? Ning ni a. This is you, right? But you write in oh, uh, this is you. You write in a respectful for respectful form. Show your humbleness. Show your respect. Should be write a, a heart underneath it. Ning hao, so respect. Ni, to re, to show your respect. Uh, regular just ni, right? Yeah. So lao da ren. So ja yi ge lao zhe. Old. Very respectful grandpa. A very very respectful grandma. Yeah. Good question. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all for today. This is the assignment for you guys. Write these five characters. Uh, Jiang, He, Jing, Yin, Xiao, and you can write this Jian too if you want to. Hi. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, and uh, see you next week. Thank you. 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 Thank you.